Hello friends and welcome to this Lenten reflection of Thursday of the fifth week of Lent. Presented and produced by myself, Father Tom Casey, SMA of the Society of African Missions and from the SMA Media Center in Dola. Jesus is clearly saying today that he is God because he knew Abraham before ever he came on this earth. This maddened the Jews and they wanted to kill him because they tried to stone him if you listen to the reading today. And the Gospel is from John chapter 8 verses 51 to 59. And I quote, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died as did the prophets. Yes, you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died? Are the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? End of course. They called him a possessed person, which meant he was possessed by the devil. What an insult! Imagine calling God a demon-possessed person. God who is all goodness, being called bad, evil and destructive. This is the depth of the accusation that the people were laying against Jesus today. Imagine saying that to the merciful Father who welcomed his prodigal son, and obviously Jesus was equating the kind and merciful Father with his Father in heaven, in other words, himself. Imagine saying it to the one who said to the good thief, This day you will be with me in paradise. Now you say to that person who said that, and dying on the cross, This person is possessed by the devil. Imagine saying it to the man who said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. Jesus on the cross, forgiving all his enemies. It's important to know how words that we use can do so much damage to a person whom they are spoken against, and especially an innocent person like Jesus. Likewise, good words can build up and create a sense of dignity to the one they are spoken about. We often talk flippantly, or throw away words we sometimes use against another person without knowing who the person we are speaking against. Unthinking words. We may use them more often than we care to admit. How many times we join in a conversation which is against someone and we either take part or just be a silent collaborator. A throwaway comment is like going up on a hill with a bag of feathers on a stormy day and shaking the feathers free of the bag. Not hard to imagine what happens to the feathers. They fly away never to be collected in the same way again. Well, the same with throwaway comments. The damage is done as soon as they come out of the mouth and they can never be taken back again. The damage is done. As well as damaging another's reputation, loose talk damages our own reputation as gossips and reckless destroyers of others and their reputations. We as elders and mature Christians must never be caught speaking throwaway words in gossip. In other words, we must guard what we say and at all times be prudent and wise in what we say about another. We must always err on the side of being too charitable. Always have a good word to say about everybody. A bishop in Ireland used to always say when someone was bringing gossip to him, 
and he would say, "Is that so? Is that so?" Which meant, really, stop saying that. But it was said in a kind way. You got the message that he was not prepared to join in in the gossip. Be remembered as the one who never gossiped. What a great service to mankind, if that were so. Let's face it, we are all likely to gossip. It's one of the most common and easily to do sins. We do it for some kind of kick or satisfaction, and I think it might be that deep down we are a bit jealous of the person we are gossiping about. It also shows a false sense of superiority over others. But the pleasure we get in gossiping never lasts for too long. We all know that when we gossip, we are finger pointing, and that when our forefinger is pointing another out, our three other fingers are pointing back straight at us. In other words, we are condemning ourselves as gossips three times more. Than the person we are gossiping about, we bring shame upon ourselves. So today, as a result of this reflection, let us examine ourselves and our tendency to gossip. We can ask ourselves. Have we used unkind words when speaking about another person? Have we told a secret about another person which is not publicly known? Have I tried to repair the damage I have done, and that is to speak well about that person? Imagine when you see the bones of a long since dead relative in a graveyard. And you think of that person as alive, and you see how useless the whole gossip and slander is. Look at us now; we are all the same. No pretense. This is reality. The grave brings equality to kings and queens and paupers alike. Everyone ends up in a grave, and it's what. Beauty and goodness we have spread, that will really be a great way to be remembered, for years long after we are gone. We finish with advice from Saint Paul to the church in Rome, and I quote from Romans chapter twelve, verses nine and ten. And I quote: Let love be genuine, hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honor. End of quote. Any comments on these reflections are welcome. Please send to sma media in dollar at gmail dot com, all lower case and all one word, and I spell it out for you. S M A M E D I A N D O L A at gmail dot com. Your comments would be greatly appreciated and would help me greatly in preparing these reflections. This is Father Tom Casey, SMA of the SMA Media Center in Dola, signing off now and wishing you a happy and joyful Lenten. Period.